Meanwhile, the Trump campaign has already begun to attack Walls, portraying him as a, quote, dangerously liberal extremist and accusing him of supporting open border policies and defunding the police. News Channel 3's Luis Avila continues our political coverage on Kamala Harris's VP pick and his local reaction to that choice. I kind of thought it was going to be Mark Kelly. Uh, I know a lot about him. Uh, we had lived in Arizona previously. Some surprised reactions from residents waking up to news of Harris's vice presidential pick. I'm surprised by it. It's, it's I think it's a pretty, pretty liberal progressive pick. And uh, she's already a liberal progressive candidate. And so there's no balance on that ticket. Others not so familiar with the Minnesota governor. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I've been too busy with work, so I haven't really delved into politics a lot recently. But I just know about Kamala Harris, yes. Never heard of the guy. Some residents tell me it's a smart pick and are optimistic, especially with Walsh's background as a teacher. I could see where she picked uh, worse for the northern sector, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan. That's a, a very divided area and she really needs to pick up those votes. So I'm very hopeful and very happy with the ticket. Uh, the other side, they're putting the, pitching it out that, that everything's, you know, Democrats very anti-family, but I think having a VP that is a teacher, you know, shows that they're serious about family and the future of our children. But others are concerned. The economy, uh -huh. abortion. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't understand why you would vote for some, for, for what's going on today. Why would you do that? Not very impressed. I think he handled the, the whole 2020 riots and letting Minnesota burn before he did anything. But regardless of political stance, the announcement will help engage voters. You know, it definitely will spark interest for other people to look into uh, kind of like his policy views and his, his history.